In consumer coverage, the tax deadline is looming. If you haven't filed yet, you have some work to do. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell spoke to a tax expert and joins us now with what she's learned. Mike and Kelly, first things first, if you're filing in Rhode Island, your deadline is Monday. If you're filing in Massachusetts, it's Tuesday. And of course, you always have the option of filing an extension. The tax deadline is coming up quickly, but this tax season... There's an extra weekend. If you're wondering why, here's the answer. According to the IRS, Washington, D.C. is celebrating Emancipation Day on Friday, which pushes the deadline to Monday the 18th. People in Massachusetts and Maine have until Tuesday the 19th because of Patriots Day. If that extra weekend isn't enough, you still have options. If you feel that you may not be able to actually file a tax return because we're missing information or whatever, uh, you can always file an extension. And um, that's an automatic extension. You don't have to ask for permission. That will give you six more months to file your tax returns. But remember, filing an extension doesn't mean you have extra time to pay. If you owe money, you have to pay by next week's deadlines, or you could face penalty and interest charges. The worst penalty is actually filing late. So at least if you don't have the money, send an extension, save yourself the late filing penalty. The IRS expects 150 million tax returns to be filed this year. The agency says it will process 9 out of 10 returns within 21 days and expects more than 70% of taxpayers to receive tax refunds. Last year, the average federal refund was $2,797. We have lots of extra information and links to resources that may be helpful on our website, WPRI.com. Of course, if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.